Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Today I'll be programming with this DX6E, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum DX G2 radios. Let's get started by clicking on the scroll wheel and scroll all the way down to System Setup. Click on System Setup and we'll get a warning screen letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it will shut off our RF deck, meaning we'll have no signal being sent from our transmitter. Click Yes. And now scroll down to Model Select and click. And now scroll all the way down to the bottom to Add New Model and click. Click on Create. And now we have a brand new, completely blank model. Let's give it a name. Scroll down to Model Name and click. And starting with the first character, I'll name this one Valiant 1.3. Once you've got the model named, push the back button. And now scroll down to aircraft type and click on aircraft type. Scroll down to where it says wing normal and click on normal. And scroll to the right to select one aileron, one flap. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps. Once we have that locked in, push the back button twice to take us back to the home screen. Click the scroll wheel. And now let's go down to DR and Expo to set up our dual rates and exponential. Click. And we'll start by selecting a switch to control our dual rates. Scroll down to where it says switch on and click. And scroll to the right to select a switch. I'll be using the C switch for my dual rates with the zero position being the high rates and the one position being the low rates. Click to lock it in to select your switch. And starting with the zero position, the high rates, we'll leave those dual rates at 100%. We can flip down to the one position, and now we'll drop those 100s down to 70. Click on the 100% and scroll left to bring them down to 70%. And click to lock it in. We can verify that's working. Our aileron channel, high rates, 100%. Low rate, 70%. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. Scroll up to where it says aileron and click. Scroll to the right and select elevator. Scroll back down to switch to select the switch. Again, I'll be using the C switch. C switch in the zero position will be the 100% rates. Flip it down to the one position. And now we'll click on the rates and drop them down to 70%. You can see that it's working. High and low rates. And now let's do the same for the rudder channel. and verify it's working. Zero position, 100% high rates. One position, 70% low rates. Once we have those locked in, push the back button back to the function list, and now scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut, scroll over to where it says inhibit, and click on inhibit, and scroll to the right to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used as the throttle cut switch, and that's the switch I'll be using. Click to lock it in, and we can see that just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut position to negative 100%. That's exactly what we want. So long as the throttle cut is enabled, it'll lock in our throttle channel at negative 100%. 
This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we can push the back button. And now let's scroll down to flap system to set up our flaps. Click on flap system and then scroll over to inhibit to select a switch. Click on inhibit and scroll to the right. The D switch is most commonly used as a flap switch and that's the switch I'll be using. Click to lock it in. Now programming per the manual, the flap value for position zero should be negative 100%. So click on that zero and scroll left until we get to negative 100%. And click to lock it in. The elevator mix for position zero will remain at zero. For position one, the flap value will remain at 0% with an elevator mix of positive 3%. So click on the zero under the elevator column for position one and scroll to the right until we get to 3% and click to lock it in. Now for position two, the manual calls for a flap value of 100%. So click on that zero and scroll to the right until we get all the way to 100%. Click to lock it in. And now add an elevator mix of 8%. Click on the zero in the elevator column and scroll right until we get to 8% and click to lock it in. Now we can see the flaps are moving as they should. However, they move too quickly. Scroll down to where it says speed norm and click and scroll to the right to bring them up to 2.0 seconds. This will slow down our flaps so they'll move at a more scale speed. Now we can push the back button twice and we're back at the home screen. Now this DX60E is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Today I'll be programming with this NX6 transmitter but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum NX radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down to System Setup. Click on System Setup and we'll see a warning screen letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck, meaning there'll be no signal being sent out from our transmitter. Click on Yes. And now scroll down to Model Select and click. Scroll down to the bottom of this page to Add New Model. Click on Add New Model and Create. This gives us a completely clear, brand new model. Now let's give the model a name. Scroll down to Model Name and click. And starting with the first character, I'll name this one Valiant 1.3. Once you have the model name entered, push the back button twice to go back to the system setup list. And now let's scroll down to aircraft type. Click on aircraft type. And now scroll down to where it says wing normal and click. Scroll to the right until we get to one aileron, one flap, and then click to lock it in. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and another channel controlling our flaps. Now push the back button twice to take us back to the home screen and click the scroll wheel and go down to DR and Expo to set up our dual rates. Scroll down to Switch On to select a switch for our dual rates. I'll be using the C switch, which is a three position switch, but we'll only be using two of the positions for our dual rates. Click where it says switch on to select a switch. With the C switch in the zero position, that will be my high rates, and I will leave the rates at 
putting the C-switch down to the one position will be my low rate position, and I'll adjust those rates down to 70. Now we can verify they're working. When I flip back up to the zero position, I'll have my 100% rates. When I flip down to the one position, there's my 70% low rates. Now keep in mind, this is a three position switch, so if I flip all the way down to the two position, it brings the rates back to 100%. So the zero position will be our high rates, and the one position will be our low. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. Scroll up to where it says aileron and click, and scroll to the right to select elevator. Scroll down to switch on to select the switch. And just like before, I'll be using the C switch. C switch in the zero position will be the high rates. We'll leave that 100%. We'll flip it down to the one position for our low rates. And we'll bring those rates down to 70%. test that it's working. It is. Now let's do the same for the rudder channel. Now we can see that's working as it should. Now that our dual rates are set up, push the back button and now scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut and scroll down to inhibit. Click on inhibit to select a switch for your throttle cut. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see that just by selecting the switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut value to negative 100%. That's exactly what we want. As long as our throttle cut is on, our throttle channel is locked in at negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now push the back button and scroll down to flap system. Click on flap system and scroll down to inhibit and click to select a flap switch. The D switch is most commonly used as a flap switch, and that's the switch I'll be using. Click on the D switch to select it. And per the manual, the flap value for position zero should be negative 100%. So we'll scroll up to that zero under the flap column for position zero, click, and scroll left to bring it all the way down to negative 100%. and the elevator mix for position zero will remain at zero. Position one's flat value will remain at zero percent. However, we need to add an elevator mix of three percent. So click on the zero next to the elevator mix and bump it up to three and click to lock it in. Position two calls for a flat value of 100%. So click on that zero and scroll to the right until we get all the way up to 100% and then click to lock it in. And then add an elevator mix of 8%. Click on the zero and scroll up to eight and click to lock it in. Now we can see our flaps are working on our flap switch. However, they move a little too quickly. Let's scroll down to where it says speed norm and click and scroll to the right until we get to 2.0 seconds. Click to lock it in. Now we can see our flaps moving slower at a more scale speed. Now we have our flaps set up. Push the back button twice to return back to the main menu. Now this NX6 is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Today I'll be programming with this IX14 transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum IX radios. 
Let's get started by selecting a new model. Click on the little orange marker at the top left hand side of the screen and then click proceed. Now, click on the three orange dots at the top right hand side of the screen and then click add new model. Default and airplane. Create. and scroll down to the bottom of this page to find our new model. There it is, Acro. Click on Acro, and then click on the word Acro again to name the model. Delete what's in there, Acro. And I'll name this one Valiant 1.3. Once you have the model name entered, hit Done and then push the back button twice. Now let's set up our dual rates. Click on where it says model adjust. And now click on dual rates and expo. We'll start with the aileron channel since that's what's already selected. Click where it says switch on to select a switch for your dual rates. The C switch is the switch I'll be using. We'll select the C switch. Now the C switch is a three position switch, but the manual only calls for two sets of rates. With the C switch in the zero position, we will leave that at 100% for our high rates. Flip the switch down to the one position for our low rate position, and now click on the 100s next to dual rates, and bring those down to 70%. Click OK to lock it in. And now we can see when we flip our C switch back to the zero position, we get our 100% high rates. And when we flip down to the one position, we get our 70% low rates. Again, keep in mind, this is a three position switch. So if we flip down to the two position, we're back to those 100% rates again. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. Click on where it says Channel Aileron, and then select Elevator. Now select a switch, click on where it says Switch On, C Switch. And just like before, the C Switch in the zero position will be our high rates, we'll leave at 100%. Flip down to the one position, click on the 100s, and bring them down to 70. and OK to lock them in. And verify it's working, and it is. And now let's do the same for the rudder channel. Click on where it says elevator and select rudder. Select the switch, switch C. Zero position, 100%. Flip down to the one position. Now we'll bring those down to 70. And OK to lock it in. We'll test that they're working, and they are. And now we have our dual rates set up for this aircraft. Push the back button to take us back to the model adjust list. And now click on throttle cut. Click on inhibit to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut, and that's the switch I'll be using. You can select the H switch. We can see that just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut value to negative 100%. As long as our throttle cut is flipped on, our throttle channel is now locked in at negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now push the back button twice, and we're back at our home screen, and now click on Model Setup. Aircraft Type, Proceed, click on Wing, and then click on 
one aileron, one flap. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps. Now push the back button twice to take us back to the home screen again and click on Model Adjust. Flap System. And click on Inhibit to select a flap switch. I'll be using the D switch, which is commonly used for flaps. So select the D switch. And for the flap value for position zero, the manual calls for negative 100%. So click on the flap column, for position zero, and bring that down to negative 100%. And click OK to lock it in. For position one, that will remain at 0%. However, we need to add an elevator mix of 3%. So click on the zero on the right side for position one and knock that up 3%. Click OK to lock it in. And now for the position two flap value, click on that zero on the left and bump that all the way up to 100%. And OK to lock it in. Now for the elevator mix for position zero, click on that zero and bump that up to 8%. And okay to lock it in. Now we can see our flaps respond as they should in the right positions. However, they move too quickly. Click on the zeros under the column where it says speed and bump that up to 2.0 seconds. And then OK to lock it in. Now we can see our flaps have slowed down and they're working at a more scale speed. Now we can push the back button twice to return back to the main menu. And now this IX-14 is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight Valiant 1.3. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial.